This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at the Fight for Change gym in Lambeth today. Um, with me is Ryan Frag, topping the bill uh, this Friday night at your call on the Capital Gain Show against Sonny Edwards. Everything good, Ryan? Everything's perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Um, before we come on to your fight with Sonny, just tell us a bit about what you're doing here today at Fight for Change. Um, well, obviously, as you know, Lee Eaton, he, yep. uh, I spoke with him last night. and you know, Lee's behind you right now, by the way. Don't worry about him. Can you carry on? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, he phoned me yesterday, he said, uh, do you mind coming down and having a chat with some of the, some of the kids um, at this gym? Um, didn't really tell me much, but I've came down and it's amazing what they're doing down here. Like, you know, they're taking a lot of kids off the street. And, you know, doing something, giving them something productive to do with their lives. And, you know, it's. You know, if I didn't have a gym around the corner when I was a kid, you know, who knows what I'd be doing. So mm. I know the effect it can have on, on young kids. And, and it's great to see. It's great to see the team, what mm. they're doing here for everyone. Stuff like this really shouldn't be overlooked, should it? No, because, like, as I say, like, you know, if, if these, if, like, most of the kids, if these didn't have this, God knows what they'd be doing, mm. you know what I mean? Because, you know, like, you know, there's, there's that much going on. Like, I, I, I don't know much about this area that we're in at the minute. But, yeah, it's you know, not the best. Yeah, I spoke to a couple of lads there yeah. and they said, like, six years ago, it was, like, it, it, it was bad. And, and, you know, if it weren't for people like, oh, I, I can't remember the lady's name. Oh, was, Rebecca. Rebecca, you know, if it weren't for people like her, you know, this probably wouldn't, this probably wouldn't be going. So, you know, she's just picking this back up with Ryan. Yeah, you were talking about Rebecca and, and the good she's doing here. Yeah, like I said, uh, you know, if it were for people like her in communities like this, you know, the kids, you know, God knows what the kids would be doing. Mm. Like, like we all know, there'd be you know, kids out there selling drugs these days and, you know, trying to make money, you know, and that's just because they've got nothing better to do at the time. So, you know, the fact that they've got people here doing things for the kids, it's great, in my opinion, and, and they are they are the real heroes, you know. Hmm. What was it like for you growing up in Liverpool? You know, I don't want to say it was rough, but you know, it, like, it was, <laughs> it was, you know, it wasn't, I obviously, you know, I didn't have it rougher than most, you know, I don't say that, but like, you know, the fact that we had gyms like this hmm. helped me, do you know what I mean? Like, like I say, like, if it wasn't for, you know, Everton Red Triangle, I was, there, I was there with them for 10 years and over 10 years and, you know, if it wasn't for that place, I don't know what I'd be doing with my life right now, so, like I say, the people who run places like that and take kids off the street, they, they really are important people in the communities and, you know, um, like, the, like, the, them, them type of communities have got a lot, a lot to thank that those people for, like Rebecca herself there, you know, People probably don't re even realise what she's doing, but she's, you know she's doing a lot of good for for a lot of kids. Mm, well, she said they don't advertise it, and it's completely free, which I was shocked. That's the other thing. Like with it being free, like there's a lot of kids who haven't got you know the parents haven't got money, so you know it, other gyms they won't be able to go to because they can't pay. And, you, and the fact that this is free, it just opens doors to so mm. many other kids, and and helps take them off the street and gives them something positive to do. Mm, I didn't realise such a big place like this would be completely funded but hopefully the funding continues in other places across the country because we really need it but anyways Friday night your call <laughs> capital games let's get to it um, how much of Sonny Edwards have you seen Ryan? Um, not much like obviously you know he's been talking about the spa that we had so I've seen a little bit of him there but to be honest like that wasn't me who we sparred. That was that was a different Ryan Farag, you know, like I was out of shape. Yeah, I had me training. So, you know, he's going he's going off wrong things in that way. I've seen enough of him to know that he's not as good as me. And and I know what I need to do to beat him. That's the thing, like you know, I won't say much but you know, Albert, my coach, has has worked with Sonny. So we know we know exactly what Sonny's got. What, out in Marbella? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Trained with, he trained with Albert for a few months. Um, so that was a bonus for me really that, that my, my coach had trained my you know, my, my opponent. Um, like I say, 
we know what Sonny's got, we know what he's about, we know he's going to try and run for 10 rounds and steal rounds, that's all he's going to be able to do, but he can run, but he can't have 10 rounds, that's the, that's the facts of it, like I'm going to be on his chest all night and it's only a matter of time before he, he, has, to have, he has to stand and fight with me, you know, he's talked, he's talked a big fight and he's going to have to, he's going to, have to back it up, he can't just run all night. Sonny hasn't really had that marquee name on his resume yet, or really a big fight. I know he holds a title, but in terms of a name, you've obviously been in some big fights, title fights, fought against Ryan Burnett, obviously. Do you think that's going to play a factor? Yeah, I mean, them 12-round fights against, you know, Ryan Burnett's a unified world champion now. And, you know, I, like, I don't feel like I disgraced myself in that fight. You know, I... You know, obviously I was gutted after it that I lost, but you know, as time goes on, you realise, you know, I can look and look at him and say, you know, he's a he's a unified world champion, and I and I, I went in and, and held me own there with him for twelve rounds, and so yeah, like you can't buy that experience, you know, that that just comes from from getting in there and doing the twelve rounds, you know, like you say, Sonny hasn't, he he's talking about things that he doesn't know about, he's gonna do this, he's gonna do that, we're gonna see on Friday exactly what he's going to do and I can't wait what sort of fight are you expecting with Sonny? it's going to be like when there's a fly in your living room and you've got to get the thing out and just start you've got to chase it for a little bit but eventually boom you whack it you kill it that's that, the type of fight it's going to be that wasn't the uh, answer I was expecting but, but fair enough um, what have you made of your career so far Ryan? Ups and downs for me, like you know, um, obviously uh, the highlight of my career was going to Belgium and winning the EBU title, the one that Sonny can only dream of holding. Um, but then obviously I lost it straight away to a mandatory opponent. But the thing is, is I box the best, and there's no shame in that. You know, Sonny's going around putting videos of that up on on his social media right and he's trying to get in my head by doing that but like I say there's no shame in losing to the best and and like I say you can't buy that experience you know from them losses you learn a lot um, obviously I feel like my career hasn't hasn't been able to accelerate like I would have liked it to but after Friday we'll see where it takes me like win this fight it's going to open doors for me and hopefully I can get the ball rolling and keep it rolling this time. We've seen sort of Sonny in, in um, what's the word I'm looking for? Heated exchanges before with fighters, namely uh, Prince Patel. Um, there has been a lot of, Ed, you just told me before that you don't really have any hate towards him, but he seems to have a problem with you. Why do you think that is? Ooh, <laughs> I wouldn't like to say. Maybe it's because do you know what? I honestly think he's like a, a jealous bit of man. Like, like, you know, he's got personal. He's been very personal, and, I, and I've and I've held back. But you know, I know things that maybe he doesn't think I know. Like for instance, I know he wants to be training out in Marbella where I'm training. He wants to be doing what I'm doing. You know, and he's a bit of man in that way. I think you know why else? You know, he's got no reason. To, to, to have so much hatred towards me like I say I don't hate him I'll never hate an opponent because then that'll control my emotion in the ring and I'll never allow that to happen again because like I say in my Europe my last when I lost my European title I I had similar similar going on you know with, with this guy and and I learned from that but like I say Sonny can watch this video now and see this but it's too late because his head is already gone <laughs> like you know, he's tried to say he's winning war of words, like, like, and like I say, there is no war of words. The only war that is going to happen is on Friday. Sonny is, is he's a kid in my eyes, and and he's like I said I get before, he's embarrassed himself on social media. You know, he's he's trying to argue with everyone who's writing something on his profile, and and and, and you know that just that's just going to work in my favour on the night. Like he might think he might think it that everything's going to be okay but once you take a flush right hand to the face all them emotions are going to come back and he's going to have to he's going to have to fight and like I say he spoke about the spar that we had now I remember 
I all I remember is him running and holding, right? And now I don't like holding in a spa, right? I, I believe that a spa is to learn. Like obviously in a fight, if you hurt, you hold. But uh, a couple of times I was able to break out of his hold and whack him on the side of the head. To which I remember him. I remember him turning his back on me and going, "Ah, what are you doing?" <laughs> you know. And he's not going to be able to do that on Friday. So I can't wait for everyone to see. You know that he can talk the talk, but he just can't walk the walk. And I can't wait to put a good show on on Friday and give everyone the fight that they've. they've, they've being looking forward to. I just hope that Sonny doesn't try and just run all night. And like I say, even if he does, I've got a plan for that as well. So, okay, interesting. Um, there has been exchanges on Instagram and stuff between I think your fans and him personally on yeah. direct messages and stuff. Have you seen much of that? Yeah, well, I got a I, someone's actually sent me, um, yeah, I don't know whether Sonny put it up on a story, <laughs> but the thing is, is if you bite once, you know then you're going to get it. Like, Sonny needs to learn. You can't bite at everyone because, you know, he's going to learn. He's going to learn a lot from this fight and this camp, right? And that is, is one is you need to stick to your own, to your own game plan and your own, and your own training and, and not, not get involved with the public. Like, you know, if he wants to be Sonny Showtime Edwards, he's going to get stick on social media. You can't react like that to everyone who tries to, to give you a bit of stick. thing is, is he, can, he, he wants to give it, but he can't take it at all. He has to bite at everything. I don't know whether he's just an emotional little boy, do you know what I mean? Who can't, he can't help but just get on his phone and, and start typing. But like I say, like I've, I've been sitting there laughing my head off many a times. I, I, no, I thought right. that was Lee behind You're me right. there. Yeah, I don't know what Lee's um, doing. <laughs> But like I say, yeah, to me, I've been sitting there, I've had, a, I've had a good laugh at Sunny this camp. But on Friday, it's down to business, and like, that's when it gets serious. Mm. So, pff, all that doesn't matter. You know, all of the Instagram, the Twitter, it means nothing to me. All that matters to me is getting in that ring Friday and punching holes in them. <laughs> From what I'm hearing then, emotionally wise, you've got zero involvement in it, basically. You can't have, you can't afford to have that in this game. Otherwise, it will control you and it'll get you hurt. Like what's going to happen to Sonny on Friday, I believe. Oh, so you think he's really emotionally involved? Then? I think he's so involved that when I start whispering in his ear, John, when he when he's trying to hold the fuck shit out of me, that you know he's not going to be able to box the way he wants to box. Okay. Okay. I hope you're watching this, Sonny. <laughs> and um, if you've got to give us a prediction, Ryan, what will that be? A late stoppage. A late one. Why did you say late? Just because... Just because I'm not looking on rushing anything. If it comes early, it comes early. But I do believe that I'm going to get to him at some point. And, I wouldn't, and I'm not going to go in there to try and take him out early. Because he is a good mover. Mm. That's about it. <laughs> he is, he's a good fighter, you know, he's got a European title. But I just believe he's bitten off more than he can shoot. And, um, and like I say, he's going to run. And he's fast. I bet he's fast. So, you know, I'm not going to chase him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the ring down. I'm going to make it small in there for him. Mm. And break him down round by round. Mm. Okay, listen, we look forward to that fight. It's a great card. Capital Games, your call. Um, likes of Dan Aziz, Sammy McNess on it. So get yourself down to your call if you haven't already got your ticket. If you can't, Tune in live to, to Box Nation because it sounds like it's going to be a cracking fight, Ryan. <laughs> it is, yeah. As long as he as long as he comes to fight and he doesn't try and come and fool the public, like I say, you talk the talk. You know, it's time. It's time for business, no Sonny. Don't run. Okay. Umar Ahmed, Fry FL TV with Ryan Frag signing out. Thank you very much, Ryan.